you got to want this out of the abundance of your heart. Not only for you, you do this tour on that for yourself. You do this tour to change your seed. Yes. To help your seed. That your children will come after you and they will see a lot of a lifestyle within you that is so inducing that they want to do what you do. They want to act like you, talk like you, be like you. Father like son. Daughter like mother. Amen. Amen. People have to see the God in you so strong, they say, man, I want to be a preacher one day. Uh -huh. I want to be a teacher one day. Every child, every child always say, oh, I want to grow up to be a fireman. Uh, yes. Amen. Until you realize all the all the all the entail that it all the all that it takes to be a farmer, you realize, well, I'm gonna change that subject. Mm -hmm. Then you hear him say, I want to be a preacher, but you don't know what the, what it takes to be. You can see it, but you gotta want it. And when you want it, you do whatever it takes to get. So the father said, if you don't want me, then you must want the enemy. If you don't want the Lord, the Lord, then you gotta want the adversary, amen. There's only two forces in the earth, good and bad. Amen. Either you want one or you want God. You cannot serve two masters. You cannot walk in the room of realm of good and then walk in the realm of evil at the same time. You either want or the other. That's why the Father always said, choose this day whom you shall serve. The choice is yours. The want is yours. The man of God can't make you want God. You got to want God so much that you come from the back pew to the front pew. Amen? That you walk out of the realms of darkness and you come into the realms of light. You have to want this in your heart. And no man of God, no man of God on the earth can force it upon you. God is not the type of God that he will force himself upon you. You have to want this. And I cannot teach this. Can't teach one. This is in your heart or not. Can't teach it. You can go, you can go to school, and you can study, but you gotta want it. Amen. What does what does it what does it profit that you go to school, set in school, get a degree, and still don't want to do what you have studied to do? Went to school to be a scientist, but you're turning hamburgers at McDonald's. So the father said, if you don't want this, I'll let your enemies overtake you until they whoop you into nakedness. Then they can take all that you have from you. That I will take you out of the realm of life, put you in the realm of darkness, and you will walk in this until you want to get out of it. You have to want it. That's why, the, that's why I tell people all the time, Bishop, don't chase people. I do not chase people. It is not, it, it is not designed by the Father to chase. But if you want it, I'll give it to you. Amen? He says it in the book of James. If any man lack knowledge, let him ask of the Father. And he said, I will give it to him liberally. And I will hold it not from him. I give him all that he wants. You want more? I give you more. I give you so much of this word that you choke. Amen. Isaiah said, I ate this word so I ate this word up and when I was eating this word, it was like honey in my mouth. But when he got down to my belly, 
See, that's the one. See, you got to want God, but you got to want what a cup what it entails as well. The assignment that the Father gives you comes with a measure of pain. Ask Paul. Ask Peter. Ask John. In fact, ask Yeshua. Because if this was free, if this had no pain in it, if it had no pressure in it, everybody would want it. Since it, it entails pressure, it entails what? You need to come. In season, out of season, you need to come when it's cold. You need to come when it's hot. You need to come when it's warm. You need to come when you don't want to come. That's one. Man, I want this. I want this. I want this so bad. I would not let the gates of hell stop me from getting it. Say, I want it. That's right. I want it. I want all that God has to offer and more. Yeah. 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 Job 24, 1 through 4. Why the why being times are not hidden from the Almighty, do they that know him not see his days? Some remove the landmark. They violently pick away flocks and feed their own. They drive away the ass of the fatherless. They take the widow's ox for a pledge. They turn the needy out of the way. The poor of the earth hide themselves together. Why do you hide from God? Why do you hide from God? You take everybody else. And you even take that you will not take what God has to offer. You take from the widow. You steal from your brother. You steal from your, from your wife. But you will not steal God's goodness. If you're going to be a thief, why not steal some goodness? Huh? You ever heard of a thief, a thief stealing goodness? <laughs> why, go, why go and steal something that does not benefit you? And 
and he Yeshua turned and looked at him and he says you follow me for the wrong reason you only follow me because you was able to get a meal what the father gives you truly it benefits you you need this but you gotta want it you gotta want it from the depths of your soul. I mean, you have to get up. I mean, in other words, instead of the Father pursuing you, you ought to pursue Him. Great men of God, when they did works for the Father, truly the, the, the assignment that the Father placed on their life put them in a state of mind that they had to pursue Him in order to accomplish their tasks. You have to pray when you don't want to pray. You have to study when you don't want to study. You have to fast when you don't want to fast. In fact, you be more on your knees than you are on your legs. Or your feet. <laughs> but you got to want it. Most men don't want to be down. Most men don't want to be on their knees. Most men don't want to humble themselves. But the Father said, you humble yourself. Job 31, 19. If I have seen any perish for want of clothing, or any poor without covering, Psalm 23, 1. A Psalm of David, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 34, 9. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Psalm 34, 10. The young lions do lack and suffer and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. He said, the young lion. He said, listen, the young lion, he do like. That is when he's so young and he, he thinks he's so much and he thinks he's got it all together. It's hard for him. But he wants. Amen. So you see in, in a lion pack. The youngest lion will not eat until everyone else will eat. And some packs say, some packs say, if you don't hunt, you don't eat. And Paul comes along and says, if you don't, there's no work. But the Father says in some sort, he said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Why I shall not want? Because I give it all to him. I give it all to him. That's why, because I know that when the Lord is protecting, providing for me, I shall not want. I shall not be in lack. Amen. That's when you cast all your cares upon him. Let him have all the authority of your life. Let him provide your wants. Amen. If I have seen any perish for want of clothing or any poor without clothing. So the Lord provides all the covering that is needed in my life. Amen? Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want in them that fear him. To fear him, you know, to fear him in a sense where I know he's watching over me. I don't fear him because I know he can hurt me. I don't fear him because I know he can do something to me. I fear him because I know he is there. Amen. 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 Psalm, oh, wicked shall want. Psalm 3410. The young. Read it again. Okay. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Proverbs 6, 11. So shall they poverty come as one that traveleth, and they want as an armed man. Proverbs 10, 21. The lips of the righteous be many, but fools die for want of wisdom. Proverbs 13, 23. Much food is in the tillage of the poor, but there is that is destroyed for want of judgment. 
Proverbs 13, 25. The righteous eateth to the satisfying of his soul, for the belly of the wicked shall want. And so we say then, young men have a hard time wanting to serve the Lord. And you know, the Lord, Lord, the Lord calls you why you are young, why you have strong lines. See them, 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 them young guys back there in the back? Those are lions. Those are lions. And when they're lions, you know, it's hard for them to, to realize the, the authority that they have. But when they recognize who they are in the kingdom of Father, that lion walks with proudness about himself. He feels good about himself. Amen? He knows who he is among the pack. But when a young lion walks with so much pride, he lacks because he does not want. And see, so David walked with the authority of being a king. And Saul walked with the authority of being a king. But David could have took Saul's kingdom at any given time. But, so, but David realized he cannot want what God has not given him. You can only get what God gives you. You can want the whole world, but God may just give you a piece of the world. But you know, what God gives you shall suffice you, shall keep you. Now, so the problem with David is David wanted another man's wife, and that was wrong. You gotta want that which is right for the Father to bless you. Amen? Yes, amen. amen. The lips of the righteous eat many, but the food dies for want of wisdom. He's so puffed up, he's so proud of himself, he just thinks he can do it. You can't do nothing. Everything depends upon the Lord. You have to want God first. And if you want God first, God provides everything else. Can I get a witness to that? You shall first seek the kingdom of God, yes. of God. Yes. and all his righteousness. Amen. He comes first. So we get this, we get our we get our bylaws and our rules mixed up. God first. Family second. Business is third. When you tell me put business before God, you trouble. Anytime you put family before God, you in trouble. All right, all right. God has to come first, family second, business third. God provides for family, God provides business for the family, and God provides business for you to prosper. Amen. Then if I seek God first, I shall not. Can't teach him all. Can't teach him. Is that even in the scriptures where you know it? You can't teach people to want this. They have to want it from the abundance of their heart. Amen. Oh, you see that? <laughs> oh, I want to see you.